It's time now for another edition of In the Know. We have got your Easter Sunday forecast. The hunt is on the Easter Bunny. He's going to be a busy guy across Canada. What will the weather look like in your backyard? Details are ahead. And then the April pattern. Canada's first look at it. That is coming up with meteorologist Rhythm Reet. I want to welcome in Rhythm right now. You know, many Canadians excited for Sunday. So let's break down this pattern. Hopefully it feels more like Easter than Christmas. <laughs> And you know what it is, Rachel, the Easter Bunny is going to be very busy because across areas of Canada, we have all of this Pacific flow, meaning more of those seasonal conditions spreading out, especially for the northern end. However, for areas like BC into Alberta and southern Ontario, we see more of that southerly flow pushing on in. So thanks to that, we will be looking at temperatures right around that seasonal mark for Vancouver into Toronto. But with all of that Pacific flow, it does mean less of an active storm track. So sunny skies right across the board. That looks really good to see that much sunshine on Easter Sunday, a day of course where many Canadians want to get out in the backyard, even if it maybe still has some snow on the ground, the sunshine is going to feel pretty good. Now Rhythm, Absolutely. let's take a look at what's happening through April because April of course is going to be here on Monday and as we look at the upcoming month, we could have some twists and turns which many Canadians do expect for April. That roller coaster is going to continue right into April. First, taking a look into March, what we saw with the temperature anomaly was cooler temperatures, especially towards areas of southern prairies across Ontario into Quebec. We saw those above seasonal conditions and that roller coaster event is going to continue as we head into the first week of April. We see that ridging pattern in the west, the warmer air mass, and then those cooler shots of air are still going to be possible right across eastern Canada. Canada. Now, as we head towards the second week of April, that's when we see a little bit of that jet stream ease up, meaning more of that flow becomes a little bit more zonal, more equal right across the country. And I want to take a look at Wednesday, for example, Rachel, this is really showing us that ridge that's going to be building across regions of the West. Regina at 20 degrees, but if we take a wow. look across eastern Canada, we see that cloud cover, that active storm track, and a lot of that rain snow mix still lingering around. Yeah, that really does look like a snapshot of April. And I think, you know, Rhythm, what our audience loves is to look at those national pattern maps. Now, this doesn't mean every day you're going to see this type of weather, but as we sort of average the month out as a whole, what can Canadians expect? Well, we're going to be looking at above seasonal temperatures. That example that I just gave you in terms of how we have that jet stream set up, it's very similar to what we saw during our winter time, where we got to see a lot of that above seasonal temperatures right through winter, and it resulted in a record-breaking winter for Canada. However, this time around, we probably will not be having a record-breaking warmth by any means, but still above seasonal temperatures are on the way. All right, now precipitation. This, of course, is a huge issue in in the spring because we can either get way too much or way too little and then that spells troubles for the summer. And that's going to be one of those concerns that we're going to continue to monitor here at the Weather Network. More of that below normal amount of precipitation is going to be highlighted, especially through central Canada. So into Ontario and into Quebec. And then similarly for areas in Vancouver, all the way up towards the southern end or the western end of BC. Most of Canada will still be looking at those normal conditions when it comes to the precipitation. And what are some of the drivers rhythm for that pattern? Like I mentioned, we're going to be looking at that ridge building right across the west. So when we have that ridge, what ends up happening is for the western Canada, we end up seeing a deflection when it comes to a lot of that precipitation. And similarly, the storm track is going to be further towards the south, mainly impacting the central and western U.S. All right, setting us up for an interesting April, as it usually is.